Hello everybody, this is Ankush from DeepWord, and this is just going to be a quick tutorial on how to use our newest feature that allows you to overlay one of our video actors or a video actor that you upload in the corner of a screen and to have a background video playing in the background. Um, if you don't know, if you haven't seen our, our example of this, our demo of this, I'm going to link it in the description of this YouTube video, or if you're watching this on our website, um, I'm going, it's going to be the video above this. So without further ado, let's get started. So first things first, what I would recommend is to have your background visuals ready. This can be a video or in this example, a PowerPoint. It's just a really simple, basic um, PowerPoint background. And basically this, this PowerPoint is going to be in the background um, with our video actor in the corner. So um, with that being said, I have that ready. I also have a quick script for my video actor to read ready. And um, let's get started, I guess. So first thing we want to do is we want to select a video actor that we want to to be speaking in our video. So I'm going to select Oscar here. I'm going to select, um, we'll select the formal version of Oscar. And we want him in an office, so we can select this office background. Now that we have done this, you're going to have the option to click on this. So I'm going to click Overlay Video Actor. Again, this is optional. You don't have to do this for all videos, but this is a cool new feature that we have that you can do use to create um, really, really awesome videos. So now you'll notice that he's in the corner. I'm going to click on step two. And now I can position how I want him in the corner, the exact framing for him. I'm going to put him in the bottom left just because I think that's going to look best for my photo. And again, the uh, background image here that we selected is not being previewed here, but it will be there in the final video. Um, now I can adjust the color that I want for him. Let's say I want sort of a light mint green. And um, I, like the I like the medium border. I think that looks the best. So now I'm going to click Next, and here is where I'm going to have to upload my background video. I'm actually going to come back to this. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paste in my script here. So here I have my script. So we have that here, and then I'm going to select the voice that I want. So Guy in this example, and I'm going to click Preview. And so what I'm going to do right now is since I have a PowerPoint yet, I to have a I have PowerPoint created that I haven't recorded a video of yet. Um, I'm actually going to play this. And while this is playing, I'm going to switch over to my PowerPoint, record my screen, just so that whatever he's saying is in sync with my PowerPoint. And then I'm going to take that video and upload it back here. So I'll show you exactly how this process is going to look. I'm going to open my PowerPoint on one screen. I'm going to start playing this. And as soon as I start playing it, I'm going to full screen this PowerPoint. You'll see exactly what I mean in a sec. Hey, Samantha. On behalf of everyone at the ACME Corporation, we are excited to have you join our marketing department. Your first day is this upcoming July 30th, but there are a few things we need to let you know before you start your first day. You'll begin in person at our Sacramento, California office next Monday. Due to the global COVID pandemic, we all need to take very strict precautions to ensure that we maintain a safe and efficient working environment. First and foremost, make sure you are wearing a mask at all times when inside our office. If for any reason you feel unwell or sick, please stay home that day. We can always make accommodations for you to work from home. We have spaced out all our desks six feet apart from each other so make sure you don't pick a desk that someone else is sitting at. We also have placed hand sanitizer at every desk at our Sacramento office, so please make frequent use of this. Finally, at the end of the workday, make sure you wipe down your workspace with a disinfectant wipe. We also need to get you familiar with our marketing stack. We primarily use Hootsuite and Buffer to interact with our social media audiences. We've emailed you your company login information for each of these accounts, so please familiarize yourself with these services and their respective functionalities. It's also important to maintain open communication with your marketing coworkers as to avoid any overlap in our customer communications. We use Jira to manage our development and marketing deadlines, so please familiarize yourself with this service. Again, we have emailed you your login credentials for this. Finally, make sure you have the proper content creation software provided through ACME. Your device should have operational copies of Adobe Photoshop, Premiere, and Illustrator for your first day. 
Samantha, thanks again for being a part of the ACME Corporation. We look forward to you joining us on the 30th. Take care and stay safe. See you soon. Okay. So, basically what I've done is I've recorded my screen in sync with this. Um, if you're editing video to have as your video background, um, this should be less of an issue, especially if you're uploading your own audio, because then you could just upload the... Um, um, the audio, or sorry, the video here with the audio, and then again, the video here. Um, but since I wanted, I wanted to show how to do this, since I would, I assume, I'm assuming that this is how most people will do it. So basically what I'm going to do now is take the screen recording that I just took of my PowerPoint, and I'm going to trim it up a little bit, and then I'm going to upload it here. So I'll see you guys soon once I have that done. All right, so I've finished trimming my video, the section that I want. And um, just as a heads up, it's generally a good idea to make sure your trim video is just a little bit longer than your audio, just so that there's no black screen at the end of it, unless that's the effect that you're looking for. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna upload my video here. And this is just a little preview of what it'll look like, but uh, it's looking good so far. So um, yeah, basically we have our, our audio entered here and we have our trimmed video here. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click Create Video. And this might take a little bit of time just because this is a relatively long video and audio. And yeah, that's all that it really takes. Um, well, let's check back in a few minutes when this is complete. By the way, you can ignore these two uh, create new buddy buttons. These are simply there just because this is our testing server. But like I said, we will be rolling out this feature to everyone um, pretty, pretty quickly, probably in a day or two or less. All right, everyone, we are back. Our video is complete. Um, I actually went ahead and recreated it using this uses template button with a slightly closer more zoomed in actor just because I thought it looked better. But yeah, when it's complete, it'll look a little something like this. Hey, Samantha. On behalf of everyone at the ACME Corporation, we are excited to have you join our marketing department. So yeah, that's basically it. The video that we recorded is now in the, uh, takes up the background of the, of the video and our video actors in the corner speaking the audio that we told them to speak. And um, so yeah, that's that's been it, everyone. Thanks so much for doing this quick tutorial. Um, we Hope that you don't have any issues creating uh, videos with, with video backgrounds with the video actor overlaid in the corner. But if you do, please reach out to us. Either send us a support ticket um, or simply reach out to us at contact at deepword.co. But um, happy creating, everyone, and thanks and have a great day. Take care.